Have you heard the story of Sankofa? Children, gather around. Let me tell you a story of a bird who lived a long time ago in a village far, far away. Who lived in Compton. Who lived in Atlanta. In North Carolina. Who lived in New York. Who lived in New York City. Wilmington, North Carolina. This village was named Wilmington. And in this village, there was a bird. A beautiful bird. Named Sankofa. Named Sankofa. Named Sankofa. Her name was Sankofa. So Sankofa, she was bad. Like she was it. She was all that in the back of chips. <laughs> Sankofa was one of the freshest birds around. She showed boldness. Yeah, she showed. And sass. She was intelligent. She was kind. She had a spirit that was great inside and out. I feel like you're describing me. I love it. This bird that lived in this village, she had the most beautiful feathers. She had feathers all different colors, blue as the sky. And had purple feathers that were so royal. Feathers as yellow as the sun. Pink feathers that were as pink as bubblegum. She had feathers that were as black. As black as what? You would as what? As you may ask, and you did. Black as the night sky that had the northern star that led her ancestors to freedom. Green feathers, green as the most fertile grass. Red as the fire. Amen. Hot. She had beautiful feathers, vibrant. She was the brightest, most beautiful bird in her village. Mm -hmm. Everybody admired Sankofa. She would walk around strutting, showing what her mama gave her. Would strut around North Carolina, and as she strutted through her village, all the other birds would look at her and they would say, Ooh. 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 Sankofa. Ooh. Sankofa. 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 And so she would walk around, and as she did walk around, do you know what everybody would say? What they would they say? They would say, Ooh. Sankofa. Oh, so you've heard this story. Yeah, a little bit. So she strutted and strutted and strutted with her head held high. She strutted. One day she actually left. Sankofa had never left their home before. Sankofa took a little trip. In another land that she didn't recognize as North Carolina. And one day they left their home to go to Nevada. In Montana. She went to Iowa. Mm -hmm. Iowa. Iowa. <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> Girl! While they were walking around this new place, they ran to another type of bird they had never met before. And they were bland. They just looked real unseasoned. It was a mess. These birds began to make fun of Sankofa. They asked her what her name was. Oh, I'm Sankofa. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what you thought this was. <laughs> San Cuckoo. <laughs> that is so ghetto. What's a Sankofa? I ain't never heard of that. What kind of name is that? How do you even spell that? We'll call you Sandy. The birds just went up to her and started talking about her and saying, oh, you know, you're not supposed to look like this. You're supposed to look like us. Why are you saying it? Girl, don't do that. And so Sankofa was hurt. She cried and she cried and she eventually left the birds and found her way back home. And when she found all the people at home that kept telling her she was beautiful, she asked them, why did y'all lie to me? Why did you not tell me I was ugly? Why didn't you tell me that I looked crazy? Why did you never tell me that I was looking dusty and musty and crusty? You let me walk around thinking I was better than I was? Why would you do that? Why did you never tell me that I was raggedy? And the birds all looked at her, hearts broken as she cried and went in her room to go to sleep. So all of our friends and the elders of New York, they went, they went and thought, how can we repair our broken, beautiful bird? How do we restore what's been broken? What, what can we do? What can we do to help her, to help her see herself the way we see her? So they crafted an egg. They crafted a golden egg. And this egg, it had the knowledge of the people, it had the black girl magic, it had the black boy joy, it had the history, it had the legacy, it had all that and a little bit of spice, and they gave it to Sankofa in her sleep. Containing all of their shared history, heritage, culture, and knowledge, they placed the egg in Sankofa's mouth. And they put the egg and stuck it in her mouth, 
just like you see here. Naturally, she woke up confused. <laughs> She said, why? Why, why are you I was trying to kill me. Right. She said, why are you doing all this? Like, what, what was the point of this? The elders responded, child, this is the egg of your people. This egg is your essence. This essence makes you your descendants. This egg is what makes you, you, Sankofa. You are not alone in your journey. You have your legacy of people behind you, your mother, your grandmother, your great-grandmother, and all of them combined. And so, whenever you see the image of a Sankofa bird, you'll always see her holding the egg in her mouth with her head turned backwards as she moves forward. She will always remember what her ancestors taught her in this golden egg. And they said, do you know what Sankofa means? What does it mean? It means go back and fetch it. Sankofa simply means go back and fetch it. Because Sankofa means to go back and fetch it. She will go back and fetch it. Go back and fetch it. Go back and fetch it. To go forwards, we first have to go fetch our past. And this is a story of Sankofa.